Well, everybody, welcome back to another video here on the YouTube channel. If you saw the previous video, we did pick up this gigantuous trailer here. And I know in the video previously, I used a wide angle lens. It made the thing look even bigger than it really is. Here's a non wide angle view. It's still a big trailer, don't get me wrong, but it's really like 25 feet, not including the section over the bed of the truck. Because I saw a guy comment, he's like, that thing's gotta be 35 or 40 feet, that thing's massive, but the wide angle lens just made it look even bigger than it already is. I did also throw a couple blocks under two by fours and jack the trailer up a little bit to take some of the load off the back of the truck in the meantime until we find out exactly where we're gonna be putting this thing. We did get another product from in Debt Fabrication. Uh, in Debt Fab on Instagram, if you guys have not checked them out, he's the guy that made the custom tip for the first gen, which by the way, we should have a winner for in the next day or two, hopefully. The entries are with the administration that does the drawing. Keep in mind, we do not cherry pick our winners. The entries are submitted with the agency that does the drawing. The agency that does the drawing has no gain or loss no matter who gets drawn. So that's why they do it because they're non-biased. They're not involved with the giveaway in terms of anything monetary. Like they don't benefit for drawing any particular person or have any bias. So that's why they do the drawing. That's how every giveaway company works. And no, we cannot do a live drawing. I know there's lots of companies that do like fake live drawings where they already know who the winner is, but then they'll do like an Instagram or YouTube live and be like, we're drawing the winner when really they're not drawing the winner. They're just telling you who they found out from the agency that did the drawing for them also. I mean, that's how it always works. There's just some people are better at faking a real drawing to make people feel better on social media thinking it was live. We did get another product here for Rosine and Rosine has had a custom exhaust tip on it for the last couple years. However, it was cool, but it wasn't a tip that just screamed that is Rosine's exhaust tip. Like it just matched the truck. The tip that we've got from in -Debt Fab is gonna blow your minds. It is gorgeous i've already seen the pictures and teasers i haven't opened it up in person yet but from the photos i saw i was like oh my goodness that like it just says rosine like it's perfect this is also my first time seeing it in person by the way if you guys want to check out his exhaust tips he does custom builds for these tips with all different styles of sizes lengths um diameters whatever he's he's got you he currently doesn't have a website but if you want to get one of these built just look them up in debt fab on instagram i know that in the previous video there was guys like where's the link to a site where's the link to a site you didn't leave links because there wasn't a link as i mentioned in the previous video as well he does not currently have a website so if you want to order one you have to direct message him on instagram or drop a comment under one of his posts and say hey man i'd like to have one of these built and i'm sure he will get back with you and get you in the right direction for your own custom exhaust tip to match your truck or your build oh my gosh I want to be so careful with this thing. This thing is absolutely sick. Look at that. This thing is wild looking. Oh my gosh. Dude. The attention to detail on this tip it's freaking un it's wild dude dude the last one was freaking cool this thing is ridiculous look at the attention to detail the rivets the welds i mean just look at the quality of that thing give you a little bit better look around there with the gimbal i mean that is freaking perfect Again, if you want to get a custom built tip for your truck, like this tip is supposed to go with Rosine, like her red and black theme. I mean, you couldn't have gotten a better freaking tip for this thing. Cause like, here's the current one that's on it. I'll get it out and do a side by side. It's a TSO and I'm not gonna like throw shade at those guys cause they do make good stuff. But the style of this tip and the attention to detail it's just gonna fit this truck so much better it'll be perfect let's get the other one pulled off and do a side by side so of course this is not a completely fair comparison 
disclaimer because this is a brand new tip and this is one that's been on the truck for two years but here's the tso tip that was on the truck um i mean you can see around these rivets actually every single one of them rust bubbling up bad rust bubbling up bad rust bubbling up bad every spot where there was a rivet there was just a lot i mean there's a lot of rust starting been on a truck for a couple years two years now this one's brand new but it's a side by side of the two different styles of course again this one's dirty the original paint was like really crazy looking like it kind of changed colors depending on the lighting and the angle like it'd be kind of green then it'd be kind of purple like it was just kind of all over the place which is the concept i mean that's the purpose of that one more thing i wanted to point out here that i was just noticing when i was pulling the hardware and this hardware by the way came off of the in-depth fab kit these bolts are like super heavy the ones that i took off two out of the four snapped in half and i was bringing them off just because they i mean heat temperature fluctuating all the time with the exhaust running of course i understand that that's going to mess with them a little bit like half of them snapped when i brought it off but if you look at the thickness of the material of this tip it's kind of more of a like a thinner material and if you look at the diameter or the thickness of the material on this tip is just so much heavier same with the tabs these tabs you can see where the tab kind of like cracked and ripped into the material a little bit because it's so thin and look how thin the tabs are on that and look how heavy the grade of material is on these tabs. I mean, there's just without a doubt a very, very obvious difference in terms of how heavy duty the one is compared to the other. Just thought I'd point that out there for any of you guys wondering on like grade of material, how heavy, um, you know, the thickness of some of the stuff, what's going to hold up a little bit better. You know, we haven't put this on the truck yet, but I mean, just when you hold them side by side, I don't know what all they've changed on their new tips, but that one's a few years old, a couple years old. But if they haven't changed much, this thing's definitely a way heavier duty built. Let's see how this will line up here where it's at. Don't want it to be touching anything. Do a little rattle test to make sure that when it bounces around, it's not gonna hit the frame. It's not gonna hit the bump stops and like rub raw spots. That thing looks so sick. I want it to hang down as far as it can. Bam! This sucker looks good. This thing looks so sick and it literally matches the truck like perfect i mean it literally matches it like to a t this thing literally looks so sick It's perfect. I'll tell you guys that thing looks so freaking sick it's literally perfect 
Literally perfect. If you want to grab one of these tips or something just like it or something completely different, in-depth fabrication, I got soot and grime all over my shirt and then I wipe my face. Then since it's on my shirt, it gets on my face even more, but he can make you pretty much whatever you want. I mean, his tips are freaking sweet. They're really cool. He reached out to me and he's like, hey dude, I have something you might be interested in. And then he showed me a lot of his work and I'm like, that's awesome. So like I said, he also did this one which needs washed. We've been getting literally nothing but rain, so every time you drive anything down our freaking driveway, it just coats everything, especially those rear tire style exhaust tips. But that one, if you see the video when that thing was put on there, um, they do clean up easy, they clean up nice, and they just look so sick. And the quality is really nice. I mean, you'll spend a bunch of money on some of these other exhaust tips, and they're really not as high of quality for the money. but. His stuff, super sick, check it out. Like I said, in debt fab on Instagram. Look him up, send him a DM or comment under one of his posts if you are wanting an exhaust tip built. And hey, maybe even throw in there that you saw the video on my YouTube channel and you wanted to go check it out where you saw it on my Instagram and you know I sent you over his way. That might help me out as well and help him know where his customers are coming from. So if you guys enjoyed this, please smash that thumbs up. And also, do not forget, less than two weeks left to get entered to win this truck plus $5,000 in cash. Yes, you can get entered to win the Rosine 24 valve right now at lmpgear.com. Hit the link in the description below. We have some huge stuff coming, and I'm talking stuff that's very big that nobody else is doing in the industry right now with what we do for our business. Stay tuned. It's something that's going to be big, and it's going to be awesome. And our business is about to not just help out our company and what we do, but it's about to help out so many other big influencers in the industry and help them grow their platforms and their own branding and stuff like that. And we're gonna be a hub location for that development and it's going to be wicked. Stay tuned guys and I'll catch you in the next video.